Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the match reaction, Arsenal 2, Everton 1, the season ends in disappointment uh, for Everton at the end. One of them, listen, you, you can't get too downhearted about it, but I thought Everton battled and scrapped well today. Um, I'll be honest, I thought Arsenal would win it more comfortably than what they did. Yeah, fair play to Sean Dyche and the players, I think the players give everything today and just a shocking decision by Ashley Young for the goal and an awful decision by Michael Oliver to allow the goal. And uh, listen, I think if there's Arsenal fans watching, they'll probably disagree with it. But it's a handball. The Gabriel Azus knocks it forward with his I don't care you know how you try to dress it up. He motions towards the ball, knocks it past Tarkovsky and goes on and Arsenal score from it. It's uh, when did the referee ever get sent to the screen and it doesn't they don't go with the VAR thing. So I think Everton are very, very, very unlucky. Uh, I think I'm confident enough in saying, had it been the other way, I'm Schmitty that knocked it forward like that, the goal would have been disallowed immediately. Michael Oliver, in my opinion, shouldn't be allowed anywhere near Everton games ever again. I think he's got an agenda. There's a huge agenda with Everton from Michael Oliver. He's done it sort of all season as well. You know, the VAR times this year, I think he's... he's I think he's terrible as a referee anyway, to be honest with you. Um, and if I was Everton, I'd be making a complaint to have him anywhere near our games in the future. Today's just the latest incident of it. He's turning into full Clattenburg mode um, with us. The, you know, Everton went with a team that I expected them to go with, really. Uh, and come out and, you know, you're up against a top-class team and Arsenal are a top-class team. And have been tremendous this season of Ram Manchester City so close. And I thought that they'd be fully on it today and we'd it'd be difficult for us. But fair play, like I said, fair play to the manager and the players. They, they dug in and worked so hard today, throwing themselves in the way of shots. And, you know, I think people like James Tarkovsky and Adrissa Garner Gay totally epitomised that work, that absolute shock. So I thought Dom had a good game up front as well. And Everton had had to sort of get blocks in early on. Arsenal got into their passing game well. And they're always a threat. Jordan Pickford making a good save. I think it was from Martinelli early on that we had to be on our toes. But for all of their incisive play from Arsenal, there wasn't loads of clear-cut chances in the first half. They had a lot of shots. They, you know, sometimes three shots in the space of about two seconds where we got blocks in. But they, they didn't flow perfectly for them. And that was credit to Sean Dyke and, and to Everton. And we went and took the lead. You know, we did the post. Dominic Calvert-Luna had a, a chance where he smashed it against the post and put the rebound into the side netting. And we then go and get a free kick uh, in and around the edge of the penalty area. We'd already had one at Dominic Calvert-Luna tried, but he hit it into the wall. This time, it's Richard Garner Gay, who's loving scoring goals at the moment. Stood over it, hit it, hit Declan Rice. Uh, went into the other corner. It's Gay's goal. It was on. It was on target, but it hit right and went into the other corner to give Everton an unlikely lead. And you know what? We we sort of grew into it a little bit. A couple of better decisions on breakaways. It, it could have got even better, but we did go asleep and allow Arsenal to do what they do very well, which is a ball inside Ashley Young. It was cut back from the byline. And Tommy Ashu come in and lashed it through. Well, it went through Coleman's legs in the end and into the back of the net to give Arsenal an equaliser on half-time. Uh, come out for the second half. Obviously, Manchester City were winning at the Etihad. Um, so, you you know, Arsenal, we thought they'd be buoyed by that. And they'd be, listen, I won't sit here and, and say Everton were the better side because they weren't Arsenal with the better team all day, but you'd expect that. But Everton worked so hard and did carry a threat on the counter-attack. Another good run by Dominic Calvert-Lewin off the wing, cut in and hit in. David Raya made a good save, good catch for the cameras, but it looked good. You know, uh, Emmy Smith Rowe come on and hit the bar. Jordan Pickford made a good save from Odegaard. So we did have to, we did have to sort of make sure we continue to defend the way we did, and that's why it's so frustrating that we go and lose the game in the last minute. I mean, we sort of battle through those difficult situations, and and obviously Arsenal. Fans were aware of what was going on at the Etihad. And, you know, for us, we sort of ridden out the, the worst bit of it. You know, when they got through, we managed to get bodies back and, and defended really well. And that's why it's so frustrating that we did go and concede in the manner we did. Ashley Young, you know, we actually look like we're on a breakaway. And 
we'd had one a few minutes before where the Chimiti had made the right choice and just played Garner in. It was 4v2. He hung on to it and it showed too much of it to them and they won the ball and broke him. For us, we had it again, Dwight McNeil. He got it, a breakaway. We slowed it down and we're just passing it around. It goes back to Young. And all Ashley Young has to do is just knock one into the channel and we get after it. And he doesn't. He takes too long on the ball, which means Arsenal cuts his options down. And then he makes an absolutely terrible decision to pass across. I mean, we tell our kids, kids footy, you know, that's not a pass that you make under pressure when you, you committed. And he just, he should know better. It's a dreadful ball to Tarkovsky. But even saying that, it's handball by Gabriel Jesus, in my opinion. Knocks it forward. They go on. Odegaard, you know, fluffs his shot. And the ball breaks and it's knocked into the back of the net. And we lose the game frustratingly because I thought Everton deserved a draw out of it. And what I mean by that is the effort they put in. The shape we kept throwing our bodies in the way of shots. I know Arsenal, if I'm an Arsenal fan, I'd say we deserve to win because we had more possession and more shots. But from an Everton perspective, I thought the lads had ground out what would have been a great draw against the top side. It wasn't, to, <coughs> excuse me, it wasn't to be. I'm just really frustrated by the goal being given though because like I said, you very rarely, and I mean, it's so rare, you see a referee sent to the screen to have a look at it. You know, when I'd seen Varchek, I thought it'll probably just be given. But then he goes to the screen, and when they go to the screen, you're like, it'll be disallowed because it's handball. You see it again. It's handball. The commentators, you know, people in the studio saying it's handball. And yet the referee comes up with something different himself. It's a, it is one of them, but I, me personally, I think it's a terrible decision. I think it was handball. But the season's finished. Listen, I, did. I think we'd have all absolutely bit anyone's hand off who offered us this six, eight weeks ago. To sit here at the last game of the season and just watch Everton give it, you know, have a right good go at it. And um, it not really mean anything. Brentford lost their home, so we, we stayed where we were. And the season, you know, the curtains come down on the season. Sean Dyke and the players and coaching staff have done a good job, you know, face some real tough times this season. Two points deductions. And it's just, that's why it's just so galling to lose it the way we did. But listen. You know, we've got a dreadful record at the Emirates and it, it continues. But now we've got a bigger summer off the pitch, haven't we? We need the ownership sorted out. That's the key thing for Evertonians now. And the same, you know, it might be the last time you see a few of those players who play today wearing Everton shirt, but they went out by giving everything they had today and they've lost in the last minute to, for me, a contentious goal against the second best side in the Premier League. So they've had a right good goal with it and done themselves just as today. And, you know, the lads who are going off to the Euros, good luck to them and, and everybody else going on holiday. Go and enjoy it because they've worked hard. The real work for the football club starts now. Uh, the recruitment team have got to be ready to go. They've got to be ready to pounce. If, you know, we're going to lose players, then they better have those targets lined up. And I want to, you know, I personally want to see us thinking outside the box, not just looking for pre ex Premier League players, older Premier League players. Go and get some talent from around Europe. It's there. We'll have to take some gambles on players. We need to, some pace put in this side. Um, and if we can do that, then who knows? It can be a much better season next season. But the next, like I say, the next kind of certainly, what is it? Just over a week away, isn't it? That, um, or two weeks rather, that we're going to find out, well, we're going to get the proper announcement from Farad Mashiri regarding the ownership and the fact he's moved on to new new people and let's hope they can come in and put our club on a forward one foot. Uh, man of the match today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to Adrisha Garner Gay. I thought he was the best Everton player today. I thought he got a goal as well, uh, but I thought he had a really good game. Taki had a good game as well. I thought Dominic Calvert-Lewin did well. Own Armour had a good game, you know, in, in the, for the best part of it. But um, Adrissa Garner-Gate is my man of the match. Thank you to everybody who has listened and, and watched these throughout the season. Um, it really does. We really do appreciate it. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the people who've given a thumbs up and subscribed and all of that. Of course, we'll be carrying on throughout the summer anyway, bringing you all the latest stories and and videos and all of that topics throughout the summer. So stick with us. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, it'd mean a lot if you did. Uh, but for everybody else, thanks for watching. See you later.